sponsored by Boss Eddie's Inc. and Dre's Radio Cafe, award-winning Dre's Radio Cafe, a.k.a. The Hangout, a.k.a. Dre's 8. Laurie D. Edwards in the building, award-winning Killer YP just left the building. Salute and shout out to you. And also to Finesse Banks Entertainment. Noriega the King, a.k.a. T-O-H-P, is now our Human Resources Director. Welcome back. Welcome back to another show. You know what I'm talking about? How changing your perspective can help you as a musician, boy. I was seeing when I started um, as Miss Fabulous. Um, first of all, I got the name from a, a nice guy in Ghana that had listened to my um, Reverb Nation um, actual post and he was downloading and streaming and he probably got a couple singles off of it and I didn't know what to call myself so I had D up there or something some kind of name I was going to go with and he was like nah the way your voice is and the way unique your sound is I think you should call yourself Miss Fabulous because we already got little this so and so that you know what I mean because it was a lot of this and that, but it was other R&B female artists that actually used their real names, and I don't want to do that, you know what I'm saying, um, that was legendary, but also I'm not a copycat, so I wanted to make sure that it was unique, different, and it was unforgettable, and nobody else had it, had to check that out for copyrights, had to check that out, make a long story short, that's what it is, um, so I never could imagine getting this far, uh, being a two-time award-winning R&B uh, Artist of the Year. It took a long time to get here. Man, I thought I would never get here. Um, but definitely Boss Lady Radio has helped me get here along with other artists that can say for themselves that they can truly benefit off of being a part of this movement. So I'm just, I'm lost for words on how thankful and grateful I am to be at this point. It took a lot of growth. It took a lot of development. It took a lot of attitude, good and bad, up and down. But man, I'm here and I'm grateful. You know what I'm talking about? I'm grateful for you guys listening to Miss Fabulous. I appreciate y'all. Make sure y'all check out the album on SoundCloud. You should be able to just type Miss Fabulous after the breakup album. It should pop right up. If you have any problems, let me know. I'll get Danny to drop me the link so I can share that with y'all. I just didn't have time to put it on on the chat room. I'll find it later and kind of copy and paste it to there so you guys can get right onto it off the website and get right to downloading because it's all good. You know, I'm talking about for sure. Brother Rob is in the building. Appreciate that. Live in the chat room, we got T-O-H-P, a.k.a. Noriega the King, Billie Jean Campbell. Girl, you know you be supporting Brother the brother Rob the Poet Brown in the building. I'm tongue tied trying to say everybody's name tonight. I'm excited. Larry D. Edwards, thanks for helping me earlier. Pull through. Almost had to um get my gun, but then he told me to put it down because it's my birthday, so I almost forgot. <laughs> Appreciate you. Yo promise, aka Killer White P. Appreciate you, baby. Uh definitely, definitely, y'all. <laughs> y'all got it lit up up in here. Willie Dub sees Jones. Appreciate that. Salute and shout out to you being in the building, a multi-award winner. I mean, get in this chat room. It's so many people to meet, man, and get connected with. They got some things going on. I appreciate y'all so much, Billy G says. Oh, you so much. Thank you, honey. You welcome. At the same time, I appreciate y'all, man. It's it's not easy getting in front of people performing, but this has been the easiest performance I've ever done. I remember my first show was a disaster. I had like one or two guests come. One came because they had to, and they wanted to hang with me the whole day. So they had to, because I was kind of like the kind of friend that'll kind of grab you by the collar and be like, come on, you doing this. I don't care what you don't feel like doing. I'm one of them friends. Girl, I got a show tonight. Don't play with me. We going. If I got to do hair, nails, toes, we finna do it we finna go so we went the other friend was late unfortunately but it's cool they came and then i think i made from the company like two dollars i still got that two dollar check hanging around somewhere (laughs) (laughs) and them checks turned into checks 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 deborah mcdonald let's welcome deborah to the show y'all oh thank you Thank you for the birthday wishes. I appreciate that. Yes. Appreciate that. Definitely in the building. Thank you, ladies, for joining. Um, 
yeah, so that's my little spin of the last show I did. I didn't make the two dollars because I couldn't. I was with a vendor that I had to sell fifteen tickets. I only sold two out of the fifteen. I, I, the people had bought the tickets, but they couldn't come. So I did sell all fifteen tickets, but because they wasn't in the building, they couldn't give me credit for it. That was, I was kind of salty. So. I'm remembering that that's why I say more, more chats, the more spins. If you are in the chat room and you're an artist and I play you on Boss Lady Show or haven't played you and you end up in the chat room, your song is automatically on the next episode. No brainer. So let me get going. I appreciate everybody coming in the chat room. Uh, what else is about me that y'all need to know? Oh, I will be doing a interview with Dub C's tomorrow night, 7 p.m. Central, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Thank you so much for the birthday wishes, Dub. Appreciate you so much. Like, you have made this year great. I was almost about to say, what the, you know. But, yeah, you, it's up to, you go through that as a person. It's an up and down situation and you be thinking, I'm finna fall. And God be like, nope. That's how I went. But, yeah, I'm so glad to be here this far since somebody finally noticed finally listen to it because i'm like everybody that listens to my music get hooked right away they either get hooked get the streaming downloading and buying or they just love listening to it through boss lady radio so this podcast has saved my life it, it helped me to meet you guys and i'm just i'm just blessed i'm grateful i have nothing to complain about even though i got a thousand things i can't complain about but at the end of the day i'm grateful for it all because it made me who i am as an artist um so that award, being an R&B Female Artist of the Year, has always been a dream of mine. I remember when Whitney lost the nomination. I remember when Mary J. Blige just got hers. Those are the people that I was chasing coming up in this game. You know what I'm saying? Because that's all we had was mainstream. We really didn't have people to look up to. And they were once underground. So it's just a truly an honor as a black woman to be nominated for anything. And look at all the backs that I've stood on from being put in the back of the hotel because they were black to draining a pool just because they put their foot in it. I'm standing with black women that are in this business are standing on the backs of women that had to go through racism, abuse, being overlooked. It's not easy being a woman in this game. So it's an honor for somebody to say, Hey, I recognize you. You doing a great job. Let me give you something for that. Cause your talent is inspiring to me and that's what's important you know what i'm saying and salute to dre's radio cafe he said he's blessed to sponsor and play the music i'm blessed to have you as a business partner i'm blessed to have you as one of my first first to be on the radio team because you know i got laughed at when i told people that i was starting me a radio team they like huh very funny i wonder how many people laughing now I'm just saying. I was just daydreaming. Just <laughs> and it don't seem like further on down the road, I'm going to have a problem getting people to listen either. <laughs> so that's for the ones that discard ours don't feel like nobody's listening to them. Well, the time has come. The blessing is here. The delivery is here for all artists all over the world. I support. When I say I support local underground talent worldwide, this is the reason why. Because I know how it feels to be overlooked, not listened to, getting rejected by friends that's supposed to have been down with you all these years and they won't even put your song in their phone. They won't even play it in the car. Yeah, don't went there. Done that. And that's what motivated me to keep going. And that's why I write the songs that I write. Because I can't be nobody else but me. And what I went through, somebody need to hear it because they can get through at the same time. And without further ado... What, Billie Jean? What you say, girl? You said a lot there. Let me see. Queen, as comfortable as you talk, I would have never assumed that you were nervous or that anything went other than what it was supposed to go. But trust and believe, I gravitate towards people that I feel are real and I feel that you are real and you're making me feel even more good about myself as being a poetry writer, short story writer that hasn't gotten a deal yet or hasn't, you know, hit the mainstream as far as publishing books, which I would like to do, but that's in the works. But you making me want to get up here <laughs> and you know, spit something most some live on these days. We'll see what happens. Happens. I know that's right. Let's go. I got tired because really, what was holding me back, Billy, was me. 
I was letting all that outside stuff. I like I told Dub when we were talking on the phone. If I would have let all the outside voices, the jokes, the sidebar conversations, the backbiting, the gossiping, the this, the that on social media, I wouldn't have been six time award winning. I blocked all that out. And I just kept going. I ignored it. I changed my phone number. I changed my address. I changed a lot of stuff. And and, and, and all I needed was the a different environment. So I created the different environment that I wanted. It's just that simple. Artists, poets, you don't have to be in an environment that you don't want to be in. And it kills me when people go against what they don't want to be in and blame somebody else for why they can't get it together. You is stopping you. Nobody else. Those feelings came from you. That's all you. And that's what I was telling me. Facts ain't feelings. That's why I said that on the post today. Facts ain't feelings. I'm telling me. Because when you say you telling you, but what you got going on? What you doing? I done been through all of that and I'm tired of it. So I created <laughs> an environment that is suitable for my peace. That is a place that I would like to go and other people would enjoy. And we got enough drama in the world. I don't need, we don't need any more. So without further ado, I appreciate y'all in the chat room. Y'all really kicking it with me. How changing your perspective can help you as a musician. So let's get some EDU in our lives on that y'all. Sticking to the same script when it comes to how you think about things like writing songs or connecting with audiences on stage as a musician is easy. But unfortunately, limiting your perspective hurts your music and shrinks down your musical world as a musician. Reaching your true potential as a musician requires you to step back from the natural and comfortable ways you do things and ask if there are alternative paths for seeing, hearing, and approaching music making. It's not easy to do, but it's something that can vastly improve your life as a musician if you put the work in. And we're going to find that at blog.reverbnation.com slash 2021 slash 08 slash 17 slash changing dash your dash perspective dash musician. How to see and hear music in a new way. Habits, routines, and practicability can be Huge benefits in a music career. There are These are the qualities that help us to master our instruments and to show up to band rehearsals on time. However, the tough part is that they can come with a dark side when it comes to creative expression and spontaneity. Something like sticking to a weekly songwriting schedule can be one of the best things you can do for your productivity as someone who makes music. But it's also important to think about what and how you're creating during your writing sessions. If you stay in the same patterns of doing things like you always have, your music won't help, won't develop and change in ways that are interesting and meaningful. You might have a lot of songs to show for your time and hard work, but it won't matter if you don't feel challenged and aggravated by what you are doing. The same goes for everything else in your music career, whether it's playing shows or recording. Learning to experience music in new ways begins with recognizing that your default mode as a musician can't stay the same for too long. If it does, your approach will become stagnant and uninspired. Asking questions about ourselves and the world around us is how we can unlock different perspectives in music. You can simply think of yourself as someone who creatively curious or as an investigator of different ways to hear and create music. Take playing shows, for example. If it feels like your band is too much in your own heads during shows, the normal ways you perceive yourselves, your music, and the audience you need to evolve. You could try recording one of your live sets and listening back to it to get your audience's perspective. Or you could build or you could rebuild your set from the ground up with new songs, transitions, and approaches to playing specific parts. Get unbiased fan feedback on your songwriting, production, and more with brand new crowd reviews on Boss Ladies Radio Show Services, radio ad campaigns, which can work for a week, a month, three weeks, or a subscription. Check me out on email at bosslady95895 at gmail.com to get your campaign running today. Unfortunately, how you try to change your perspective in music doesn't matter as long as you're committed to doing the work of not accepting your usual ways of seeing, hearing, and creating. 
Noticing your own preferences, habits, and behaviors is the most important